Dave. Hungry cabby, five borough eating tour. We're gonna cut it down two, two boroughs today. We're sticking to two boroughs. Maybe three. How's uh, So does that mean that Brooklyn and Manhattan have the best food in New York? I would say if you're gonna if you're gonna just do two boroughs, Brooklyn and Manhattan are the two to start with, yeah. How are uh, how do you feel about pickles as appetizers? Alright, so I'm a cab driver, but I don't consider myself a cab driver, I'm just a guy who drives a cab. But when I was a pickle man. I was a pickle man. That, right. That's near and dear to my heart. That's what I am. Did you just sell so the, the pickles day or did I, you make the pickles? I can't say that I made the pickles, no. Okay. I, I, I went to, uh, they, they say it's called going to B, uh, PU, Pickle University. You just stand out on the street, sell pickles. Hey, pickles! 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 Peppers. Pickles! Tomatoes. Scare them away, Dave. We'll start with the new pickle that's okay. the least sour and then work our way up. And then, oh, uh, they like get more they get sour. More and more they sour. Yeah. Do they have spicy ones? They do have spicy ones. You're gonna, you're gonna, you want a spicy pickle on a 95 degree day? No. Yes, you do. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it. Your first time, Gus Pickles. Oh my God. That's Pat right there. It only was here starting three years ago. Really? It used to be on Essex Street, and then before that was on Hester. But that's a hundred years of history. So. So it's been around for a hundred years. Uh, 96 years. Oh my God. 1910. So the new pickles are the least sour. Then you got the half sour. Yeah. You got, the, you got three quarters sour today, Roger? And you got the three quarters sour. Is that a joke, really? There's a, look right there, three quarters sour. So the new pickles become the <laughs> half sour, half sour become the three quarters sour. It's like a moon. And then that's a spicy full sour. All this is the, the, the pepper that you put on pizza. That's what makes it spicy, nothing else. And I add the whole chilies itself. Oh, and you throw the whole chilies in there, too. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, and she was saying, what do you drink with it? And she's asking beer, I'm saying brine. Uh, oh, my God. She, she, you, you want down a little, a little brine? No. I'll you young. Uh -oh. I'll you young. <laughs> I you young. I want to take you down some brine. I'll down some brine. Really? Yeah, why not? You're really going to drink that? Sure. It keeps you young. I didn't... What? I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to drink that whole thing. Thank you, Roger. You said you're going to drink it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, bottoms up. You sure you don't want any? Wow. What a man. <laughs> man it's, not about, it's not about being a man. It's about having tight skin. It keeps you young. Have a sip. Fine. Come on, you're on an eating tour. <laughs> that was the smallest sip ever. I'm a lady. <laughs> wow. This so next place we're going $1.50 Chinese sandwich. It's like a slice. $1.50? Man, it's like a meal. It's like a slice of pizza, the, the shape and the size, but they it's a sesame pancake. They fry it up, they cut it open, open it up on the inside, pot roast, pickled carrots, soy sauce, cilantro. Hot sauce as much as you want. So it's kind of like a Vietnamese sandwich. Yeah, but, but it's Chinese. But it's Chinese. It's a dumpling house. So what dumpling house? It's called the dumpling house. We're going there. <laughs> do you know that place? Yeah. Oh, okay. So do you, oh. you still want to go? Yeah, I've never uh, been. Oh, oh, okay, good, good. This you is my know, smelling block. I was about to say, you know, it's summer when you yeah. walk on a block and it smells like this. Yeah. And you're like, mmm, summer wish, in New York. I wish that could be on, on just mmm. They should bottle the that smell up. Smell of Chinatown. Yeah. Is it? Does that make me? Oh. You knew we were coming. Hi. Hi. We're going to get two, please. Two with, you want one with tuna and one with beef? You want to do that that Thank way? 
You like beef. Two with beef. I'm on beef eater. Two with beef. Let's see the right hand. Slice them open. Amazing. Delicious pickled carrots. That's intense. That's all it takes. Oh, it's like really, really hot. You know this thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a sandwich. You want a bite? <laughs> Take a look. Take a look. I know. I know. He wants to show With off his guitar, hair for the camera. What are you going to get his guitar for? You like it? The bread's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the best part. You could get it without the, the meat on it. And it's only 50 cents here. Plus, me pancakes is 50 cents. Play the camera. <laughs> He's like, where that's what he was looking for. There you go, buddy. Put it in your back pocket. <laughs> it's for you. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Adorable. <laughs> He's learning young. <laughs> That's the first words that came out of his yeah. mouth. <laughs> yeah. You're not full yet or anything, right? You're just Are you getting started. Kidding? Just, okay, good. That was just like, you know, All getting right. the palette ready. Exactly. All right, so the Manhattan Bridge, which is a great bridge because it's got great views of the Brooklyn Bridge, which is the most beautiful man made structure on the planet. I know. In my humble opinion. Within three years, the Brooklyn Bridge and the Statue of Liberty are completed. Brooklyn Bridge finished 1883, Statue of Liberty 1886. Wow. We could, uh, Can you imagine that. standing on the bridge and watching it go up? I know, that's what's amazing. It was the tallest man-made structure on the planet at the time it was built, Brooklyn Bridge. So, you know, in, within three years, your city just went from a great city, but without any massive landmarks, the, the two of the greatest landmarks of all time. In, the, in the country. <gasps> so, okay, we just crossed into to Red Hook. This is Red Hook. This is the, uncharted territory for me. So you've never been to Red Hook? Never. All right, so you'll see these beautiful views. Uh, this is Van Brunt Street is the main drag. This is the main drag? This is the main drag. This is scenic Red Hook. Oh, no, this is classic New York here. You got the... This is like straight out of taxi cool. driver. I know, you can wash your yeah, uh, car. Yeah. Actually, let's wash the car. The windows are closed. Please don't hit any of the children. No, I'm not going to hit the children. That's New York City right there. <laughs> Summer in New York, you know it. Uh, yeah, so see this the sign here? Oh my god! Isn't this ridiculous? This is all this place sells is key lime pie? Yeah. They only sell key lime pie. This is so bizarre. It is pretty bizarre. It's bizarre. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> all right. Hello. Hi. Can we get a swingle? Yes, yeah. Why are they called swingles? Um, no, this is a big reason. Quick, make something up. Bicycles, That's why I call them bicycles. Yeah. No? Okay. Isn't this like... All right, thanks a lot. All right. Am I allowed to just take a bite? Take a bite? Go for it. No, that's okay. Are you allowed to just take a bite? What do you do this? Just let it sit out in the air? Refreshing? Um, uh, this is one of the craziest things I've ever Yeah, you never had anything like that, right? No. Okay. Right. Never been to Red line? Hook, never had key lime pie. How long has this place been around for? 12 years, I, I believe. I think he said he came in 94. Did people live in Red Hook 10 years ago? People did. <laughs> Not the same people, other people did. Mm. I can't believe it. It's reminiscent of ice cream, but it's clearly not. You know? It's really unbelievable. Bizarre, but good, right? Delicious. So they used to build uh, sub chasers here and battleships, World War II era. So it used to be the main spot in Brooklyn for like commerce and stuff. And then it just turned into a real ghetto. In the 80s, 90s, it was the highest crime rate in the city. There was gang battles on the street. The guy who I took, he said he'd witnessed 13 shootouts on the street. So I guess you don't forget how many of those you've seen. But that was the 80s. And I think that it was the highest crime rate because there's so few people. Every, you know, every 10th person got shot. So, but now it, they haven't had a murder in a couple years. All right. Tacos, empanadas. So you were saying this place is here every weekend? Every weekend. Oh, no way. 
This is intense. We have to choose wisely. Oh, here we go. Cool you off. <gasps> yeah. This man is from Flatbush by way of Ecuador. He was telling me what the horchata is. It's rice, vanilla, milk, cinnamon. That's all there is to it. And it's goodness. And, and delicious love. You want to get a pupusa? Sure. Good. You want to get one of each? I mean, we might as well. Maybe you might like it. I don't like it. Maybe you might like it. Might like what? I feel like you and me probably have the same taste. That's a problem. See, un poquito. Si, un poquito Maduro. Why you see? That was a dollar fifty for that. Very cool. The pupusas is from Salvador. So we had Salvadoran food. We didn't even know it. Nice. <laughs> So you're saying next time we come, we go to the Ecuadorian place and we get what? Hey, you can try uh, ceviche. Ceviche. Try, uh, seafood soup. It's delicious, I'm yeah. sure, yeah. Let's go. We got a long haul, but let's go to Sheep's Head Bay. Get some roast beef. Change gears. Get some real New right. York-y, New York food. It's been here for over 100 years. I'm ready. Not, not new immigrants, old immigrants. You ready? Cheers. Look, I am. Rockaway, you could kind of see Rockaway out the window there. I always ask people, where do you eat? You know, I take them to Sheep's Head Bay. You know, I've been there before, but I'm not from there. So I take someone who's lived there for 30 years. He knows what's good. I went on a tour of the 22 pyramids of the Lower Nile region in Egypt in a cab. And I was thinking, you know, if, if, if this Ahmed could do it, how come, why can't I? So I was, because you know, you go to another country, like you, I'm sure when you're in Costa Rica, the, the cab, the, drivers, the cab drivers are the ones who know yeah. things. I don't know why in New York, the They're cab the drivers. They're the gurus of every city. Right, so everywhere else in the world, the cab drivers, the, the tour guides. So I thought, why not, why not in New York? It's just roast beef on bread. It's roast beef. Yeah, look at that, yes, awesome uh, roast beef sandwiches. Shoes and shirt required. Okay, you're set. One roll and roast beef sandwich uh, with cheese whiz. Mind you. It looks really good. <laughs> All right, let's sit down. This is, I mean, like, this is the taste of, of Sheep's Head Bay. Classic place. And Br Brooklyn's full of roast beef sandwiches. There's roast beef sandwiches. There's all over the place. <laughs> I like how proud you are when you get when you get the, the cheese on your face. You're like, I got cheese on my face. Normally, I, I get uh, the Friedenbergs get cheese like on their forehead, like my, I get it on my ears somehow. I don't know. So now I'm like really excited about the notion to like have kids one day because all I want to eat is like ice cream and chicken fingers. Mm. And pickles. Ah. Pomoni Gardens, is that where we're going? That's it, we're going to Pomoni Gardens. Can we just get one slice? Do you like the edge or the middle or what? Doesn't matter. Let's get the middle. So, okay, so this is the, the spiritual center of Bensonhurst. It's hot. <laughs> Can I eat it? Yeah, if it's not too hot. You've been waiting all day for it. It's awesome. Yeah? The sauce is really amazing. It's all about the sauce, right? Because the cheese underneath, the sauce on top. Oh. Sauce goes first. One of the few dollar seventy five slices left in the city. It's much bigger than your average slice. It's a steal. That is delicious. So we do the grand finale right here. Spumoni. You ever had spumoni? No. Spumoni is basically ice cream or gelato, but it's more cakey. It's three flavors: vanilla, chocolate, pistachio. I feel how cold it is. Thank you. I feel it's like there's like a force field of cold around it. Rowena, forty-two, Rowena. I feel like putting on my neck to cool me off. That's spumoni. Oh my god. I don't think ice cream when you eat it. I don't th just open your mind. <laughs> it's like a cross between ice cream and Italian ice. Yes, basically. Uh, for his website. It's, uh, and okay, so why are you taping this spumoni for your website? Because it's so good, why not? See, I told you it's because it's really good. What do you think? What do you th I'm taking the, it's not like for a science project or anything, no. It's just because it tastes delicious. I want everyone to know about it. Because think about it, you're from Bensonhurst, right? Are you from somewhere around here? Right. 
but people from Manhattan, people from the Bronx, they don't, they don't know. People from Connecticut don't know about this. Yeah. Oh, no, she's from Connecticut. I'm from Connecticut. <laughs> I'm from Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, we just proved ourselves wrong. I put her on the sand, and she's getting all sandy, and she's a girl, and uh, she's brown, so sandy. Yeah. Uh, okay. Perfect. Can I give her a little bite, a little bit? Do you want a little sure. thick slice? Oh, <laughs> took a big bite. Took a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. We'll and Sandy has hand. just ate a spumoni slice <laughs> since 1890 something. Oh my god. Oh. Look at those eyes Ooh. just came to This life. may be the youngest spumoni eater currently. I know. On June 18th or 19th, whatever it is, 2006. And there goes Thanks my trying finger. to eat more. And there goes my <laughs> finger. See, now she's hungry. All right. You want to get some IMs. <sighs> there we go. Back into the city. I'm getting ready for the view. Check that out. There she is. There's Red Hook to the left. That's where we were earlier. Oh, that's, that's, that's where, where we got the key lime pie. That's the key lime pie and the pupusas. And then there's the city, and that's downtown Brooklyn over there. So you see where we are. Oh my god. This is just, you know, it's like when I when I when I drive around in the cab or whatever, and yeah. I just see a view like that, I'm like, it's magical. There's no at other night city in the world. Up. Yeah, like a carnival. I can't believe how much ground we covered today. We did. We covered a lot of ground pretty quickly, actually. Every day should be like this. Now we're just going to take a FDR, get you right home, give you some time to recover before you go out for dinner. Take a cannoli, I'll be out and go. Pizza this good, who never know? Fried wine again, king crab legs, egg cream, ice cream, and devil eggs. It's famous fat day five for eating toast. On the wheels of steel. Dave always gets the last bite. Oh, <laughs> didn't see you there.